Hi, I'm Andy Ramirez for the Liberty News Network. Details have emerged from a recent shooting that took place on February 15, 2011 in Central Mexico. Immigration and Customs Enforcement Special Agents Jaime Zapata and Victor Avila, who were stationed in Mexico City, were returning from an exercise in Monterrey, Mexico. An ambush took place, which has tragically led to the death of one of the ICE agents. In the details that have emerged, which was first reported by ABC News, which I have been able to uh, confirm through Liberty News Network sources, that the agents, while they were returning, were ambushed by two vehicles, one that was in front and one was behind. The agents identified themselves as embassy personnel. At some point, the assailants were able to get a long rifle and a sidearm or handgun into the vehicle at which they opened fire. Agent Zapata was killed and Avila was hit twice in the leg. They were airlifted to a Mexico City hospital and of course have since been transported back home to the United States. Congressman uh, Mike McCall of Texas has stated as followed, this tragic event was a game changer. The United States will not tolerate acts of violence against its citizens or law enforcement, and I believe we must respond forcefully. Secretary Napolitano and Attorney General Eric Holder have established a joint task force between DHS and the DOJ, which will be led by the FBI. According to their press release, it will leverage the investigative capabilities of both agencies to work with Mexico in tracking down the perpetrators and swiftly bring them to justice. During the same press conference, they also underscored, uh, as well as during their meeting, the U.S. commitment to work closely with Mexican law enforcement in full support of the ongoing effort. They also reiterated their commitment to the U.S. government's broader support for Mexico's efforts to combat violence within its borders. You know, one can look at the recent t uh, murder of Brian Terry, Border Patrol agent, who was murdered in Rio Rico, Arizona back on December 15, 2010 and question some of the comments that have been issued by DHS, as well as the uh, Justice Department, given our previous report at LNN, where we outlined uh, Senator Grassley's investigation into the botched up sale in the first place that ATF was monitoring and investigating to Jaime Avila. However, given a number of the be on the lookout reports that have come out over uh, through law enforcement sources over the past few years, it might have just been clearly a situation where they knew they were ICE agents or knew they were U.S. personnel, given that the agents did identify themselves according to accounts that we at LNN have heard and decided to go ahead and shoot him. Now, uh, Zapata's murder is the highest profile Mexican in incident involving an agent since the kidnapping, torture, and murder of undercover DEA, Direct Enforcement Administration agent Enrique Camarena, which took place back in uh, 1985. One of the problems that I see and something that must be answered is the United States government and the, uh, specifically the Justice Department as well as Homeland Security going to play games in this murder case as they have with the murder of Brian Terry. We also must be reminded about the murder of uh, Border Patrol agent Robert Rosas who was killed in the line of duty back in uh, July 23, 2009 uh, allegedly by the person who accepted a plea deal 17-year-old uh, Christian Daniel Castro Alvarez. In this, he pled guilty to attempting to lure the agent out for the purpose of robbing uh, Agent Rosas, and during the ensuing struggle, the agent's uh, own weapon was used to uh, execute or murder him. The same individual, Castro Alvarez, pled guilty on November 20, 2009, and was sentenced to 40 years in prison for his role in the murder. Now, one of the things about that case is that while it was prosecuted by the Justice Department and investigated by Justice as well as Homeland Security, um, Mexico initially was no help, as Mexico traditionally is no help, though we are so closely working together when we have these types of incidents. So we can wonder what kind of cover stories and what kind of information and details are going to arise as this case is closely followed. Because what's clear, you look at the family of Agent Terry who has yet to gain 
the truth of what's happening and isn't getting any answers from Homeland Security as to the murder of Agent Terry if the same thing is going to happen here, although the one thing that does help, one of the agents did survive the shooting and has been able to identify and be debriefed by investigators from the FBI as well as Homeland Security. Hopefully he'll be able to talk later with members of Congress directly without, as we've seen in the Terry case, the departments <laughs> suggesting that agents not be talked with by members of Congress or committee staffers. There will be a lot to watch and you can be sure that Congress and the American people will be watching this one very carefully. For the Liberty News Network, I'm Andy Ramirez.